Latoya and Katie. This is Ron again with uh, yet another video to demonstrate some of the work that I've been doing on um, modifying our website so that you can add uh, blog posts through the website itself. Um, doing this will give you much more flexibility than what you have now with uh, sending blog posts to the uh, site via email. Uh, and we'll go through some of the uh, the additional features that you'll you'll gain by that in just a moment. Uh, this video it will be much like the previous video. Uh, however, there are some some changes that I've made, and I want to start from the beginning so that you don't have to refer to two videos to understand something. So we'll repeat some of the things that we did in uh, in the previous video, and hopefully uh, this one video will tie everything together and at least get you started to the point where you can test on the uh, staging site and by the way I do have a staging site that I'm going to provide the uh, link for uh, in an email in the email that uh, uh, tells you about this video uh, but just in case uh, look up here and you'll see that uh, this is the URL uh, for the staging site and I'm actually doing this video using the staging site so hopefully things will go a little bit faster than in the previous video Okay, so uh, let's begin and let's look at uh, where we are here, which is just going to the website as a normal user would. And uh, we notice uh, right away that there's a new menu item called Login. Uh, and uh, logging into the system is what will enable a user to uh, be able to manage blog posts through the website. And right now, no one is logged in, so this uh, menu item says Login. If we look at the blogs menu item, we see uh, an entry for each blog, the youth blog and the Sulphur Grove uh, grief blog, and nothing else in that me uh, menu list. But if I log in, which I'm going to do now with uh, my own login, and this will take just a minute to, uh, to get logged in and come back to the home page. Now the uh, login uh, menu item has changed to log out because we are logged in uh, to the site. And if we look at the blogs menu now, you'll notice that another item has been added uh, entitled Post Manager. And Post Manager is what we're going to use uh, to manage our posts. And if we click on that link, the Post Manager page comes up. Now, just a little bit about what you see here. Um, this is the main management function page for uh, managing posts. And you'll see here that there are categories of posts, announcements, grief blog, and youth blog. We all know about grief blog and youth blog, but um, announcement is something new. And I'm hoping that with uh, some of the concepts that we're, uh, we're uh, introducing here that uh, at some point, any of you that are users of the system can add your own announcements and not be uh, dependent upon some lo someone like me to uh, update the website for you. But we'll see how that goes. For now, we're just going to concentrate on the uh, the two uh, blogs of interest to you. And when we come in here, every blog post item or every post item will be listed here. And if you'll notice, the categories. Uh, are all the categories announcement, youth blog, and grief blog. And also here is an image. Uh, and we're going to talk about images a little bit more in this uh, video than before. Uh, but this is what's called a featured image. Honestly, this is probably of more use for announcements uh, where you might have an image of uh, something uh, uh, you know, some new uh, service or whatever with an image associated with it. You may not use it at all for blog posts. It's really up to you. Uh, but this is what the uh, the page would look like with a, uh, a blog post that has a featured image. The rest of these have no featured image, which is just fine. Uh, don't have to use it. So let's say, for example, that Katie comes into the post manager and she only really cares about the youth blog, so we're going to check that and we're going to say search. And what will happen now is uh, the list of post items, uh, notice the one with the image is gone because it was an announcement, but the only post items that appear here now are the ones for the youth blog. 
and it makes it less confusing for, for you to manage your posts. Uh, most of the time you're going to be adding a new post, but you do have the option to delete a post or edit a post, and we'll get into that uh, in, a, in a few minutes. For now, we'll say, okay, we're going to add a post to, uh, and we know we're going to do it to the youth blog. So we click on uh, Add Post, and we get a page that allows us to uh, assign a name or a title to this post. And I guess I'm not very good typing because I didn't put that in there, right? Okay, once we have the title, uh, we can now put the text for the post type uh, that we're creating. I'm just going to put some uh, gobbledygook uh, text in here just to show you that you're really not limited to the, the amount of text you can put in here. Uh, but once you have your text in here, you can do a lot of things with it. Uh, you can format it. For example, I could make, uh, uh, let's say the first two words, bold. Uh, I could make the uh, next uh, word say italics for some reason. Uh, play around with all of these. Uh, it, it's kind of like the, the features you have in a word processor. You can center uh, your text. Uh, if I wanted to center this paragraph, for example, I would select that and uh, center it. And now every line in the paragraph is uh, centered. So you do have a lot of formatting options here, and I would invite you to play with them. Don't worry about screwing something up because this is a staging site, and it's for testing and learning purposes. So uh, if you run into any issues or you have any questions about any of these, uh, let me know, and I'll try to explain them better. Now, a couple of things that I, I want to show you here. Let's say, for example, uh, we want to uh, a photograph or an image here uh, in the middle of this paragraph. We can put our cursor where we want the, the image to be, click on the Add Media uh, button, and it will bring us to this page. Now, the, the images you see here are in what's called the Media Library on the website. The reason the, these images are here is because they have been used at one point or another for something else on the website. Um, You'll see one down here for that I used for the Spud Bowl on, on our website. Uh, this is where also where we put documents that get displayed on the website. Uh, so these are here, and they can be reused. So if if you're wanting to use an image and you know it it may be already be on the website or you want to check and see if it is, you can just scroll down through here, find the image that you may want to use, and insert it into the website. If the image is not on the website and it exists on your computer, you would click on this Upload Files tab. And in this case, you can drag a file on here or you can click the Select Files and it will open a folder. Now this folder happens to be on my computer and it's all of the images that are on the website. I think Grub to Grove is up or, or yeah, is already up there. So I won't upload that one. Um, in fact, all of these may be on the website, but I'll just pick uh, one for demonstration purposes um, and show you what happens when you upload it. Uh, I don't know which one do we want here. I'll just save this one. Click on Open, and now it gets uploaded to the site. Now, notice that we're back over to the Media Library tab, and we're seeing the entire list of images that are on, in the Media Library. And this one has just been added because we uploaded it. And it's automatically selected, um, but you could select another one. But let's, let's take this one, and down here there's an Insert into Post button. When we do that, the image gets inserted into the post. If we don't like the size of it, we can click on it resize it. We can also do things like, uh, let's say we want the text to wrap around this image. Um, and in this case, the image is, is uh, right justified. Let's say that was a mistake. We want it to be uh, left justified. I'm sorry, I hit the wrong one. 
uh, let justify, no, I hit it wrong one again. Uh, and the text will now wrap around that image. Uh, you can have as many images in your post as you like, uh, and you can have each of them aligned differently if you like. One more thing I want to show you here that may not be obvious, but let's suppose that we're going to put um, uh, a reference to another site. Uh, and I'll just say go to Sulphur Grove for more info. Now, I want this to be a link so that someone reading the post can click on it and they will be taking, taken to Sulphur Grove. So I'm going to highlight Sulphur Grove and I'll go up here to the chain link which is insert or edit a link and click on it. And I get a little window here that allows me to put a URL in. And I put the URL of Sulphur Grove in this case, hit the uh, return button here, and now you'll notice that this text is a blue color and it's underlined. So when someone reads this text and they read the, the sentence, go to Sulphur Grove for more info, these words, if clicked on, will take that person to the site. And this can be any site. Uh, so if, if you're doing a blog post about grief, for example, and there's a an article on another website that you want to make reference to. This was how you, this is how you would get to that. Um, so we talked about featured image. This is not the featured image. This is an image inside the post. Here is how you would assign a featured image. And I'm going to say right now that I don't like the way this works. Right now, I have submitted a change request to the people that. Uh, uh, the software that I'm using for, for some of this functionality to change this, and they say it is on their to-do list, but I don't know when it will happen. I would like this to work exactly like this post did, uh, where you get the same windows and the same process to, to load posts. Unfortunately, on this one, when you say choose a file, you're taken to your computer, and you only have the choice of uploading an image from your computer. You don't have the choice of saying, if it already exists in the media library, I want to use it. So this gets the job done, but as I said, I don't like it, and I'm hoping this will change very soon. But for now, it is what it is. So this post needs a category, and we said we were doing a youth blog post. So we'll select that, and we'll say Submit. And once that post has been submitted and saved to the system, you now see that it is the very first post in our list here. When we come back to the post manager, we have the featured image showing up. And uh, you know we're right back to where we were, only with the new post. But let's say, wait a minute, I forgot to say something in this post. I know, but I, and I want to change it. So if we click on the Edit button, We'll go back to what is almost an identical page uh, for editing, only it has the contents in it. And we forgot to put in here uh, something I forgot. Not a very good speller. OK, so we forgot to put that in there. So we go in and we change it. Uh, scroll down. We've already have it's it's already been assigned a, a category, so we're going to submit it again. I think I'm going to try to change this to say save uh, instead of submit, but uh, for now it says submit. So we resubmit it. We're not creating a new post. We're changing the one that we had, and now we're back to the page manager again. So let's say, wait a minute, I don't know if I even want to put that out there yet. Uh, we're not ready for this post yet, so I want to get rid of it. We click on the delete button. It's going to ask us if we're sure. The deleting will change to, or delete will change to deleting. We'll get another reminder saying it has been deleted. And if we click on OK, the page will update 
the post is no longer there and it's gone from the system. So um, I think that's about everything I wanted to show you in, in uh, this video. I hope it hasn't been too long and I hope it helps you understand uh, what we're doing here to the point where you can actually get on the staging site and try it out for yourself. Give me any feedback that you have, changes you would like, things you don't like, um, uh, you know, suggestions for how it appears, those kinds of things. And uh, we'll keep plugging away at this until we, uh, we get something that works. So thanks for uh, watching and listening, and I hope you have a great day.